Hello, Michael Doyers Football Fan TV. This is my instant match reaction from Republic of Ireland 1, Serbia 1. I suppose just looking at it overall, we were rescued and we were rescued by two people, and that was Gavin Bazunu and Shane Duffy, obviously, with the goal. But um, I suppose going on with the lineup, he went with a similar lineup to what I chose in the Start 11 show. I think Alan Brown came in, and there was someone else came in there as well, and that I didn't think would start. But um, from my Looking at it, it was it was more of a defensive kind of lineup that he went with, and you can see why. Like Serbia have so many quality players in that team, and even looking at the bench as well, when they were able to make substitutions. And I thought, look, tonight we showed we showed in the first 15 minutes we played well. I think we showed a bit about us in previous games. Maybe Azerbaijan, we probably didn't. Again, we're not scoring, and that's going to be the thing ultimately we're judged on. But I think. Looking at it, um, I thought Jeff Hendrick was trying to get on the ball, trying to make things happen, and we were playing out from the back. We looked comfortable enough. Omar Bamadeli came back in as well, and I thought he never should have been taken out of the team after the Portugal game. I think he showed his quality throughout the game, and I think he will start getting game time at Norwich off the back of these uh, international fixtures as well. So I think Shane Duffy, um, I know some of the lads had said in the player ratings he didn't think he'd done that much but I thought you know we had the battles that he had to win more, more often than not he won and I just thought he was the one kind of directing things out from the back John Egan similar enough as well but yeah f obviously they get the goal and it was kind of against the run of play because we thought we were starting to attack them a, a lot more than they were attacking us they get the, the, the goal from the set piece from the corner it was a great header great ball in and Bazuna was unfortunate not to save it but um Power had, or the header, sorry, he had too much power on it, and it goes in, and, and at one 0 then, it, you know, the stadium was quiet, and I must say it was fantastic to be back in, back in amongst the fans, back in actually with the fans and not in the media section, but actually being in with the fans and stuff like that, and experience the proper atmosphere and kind of being down at that level where you really get to take it all in, and it's such a good experience seeing the Aviva back with fans and back chanting and everything like that, and I think that really drove the team on towards the end. I think everybody was inside the stadium really felt that. Um, I thought McLean was poor defensively in the first half um, and he was kind of getting caught out but as the game went on into the second half I thought he improved in that sense and I just look overall at 1-0 I was thinking okay well we're after getting that bit of momentum but now the momentum's against us and then it was uh, you know getting the ball good play from the back getting up to the midfield and then looking a bit lost in the final third and that's kind of been the story of this kind of qualification period and I suppose Stephen Kenny's reign we look good up into a sense and then we just don't have the quality maybe to get the ball in the back of the net which is what we need to do to obviously win games as everybody knows but you know going in the half time at 1-0 I always felt like we were still in the game I know Gary had tweeted out at half time you know we're still in this game and he was right I mean at 1-0 you're always in any game he's just like a genius to, to figure that out but Look, uh, we rode our luck at times, definitely we rode our luck at times, but I thought players really stood up in the second half, players like Matt Doherty, Omar Bamadeli, Duffy, Bazunu especially with all those saves. I thought other players let themselves down, the likes of Alan Brown, um, uh, he, he especially let, uh, let himself down in my book, I didn't think he played well at all, he was giving the ball away all the time, um, I think he'll have to improve if he wants to keep a place in the team and obviously he's coming back from I don't, either in injury or COVID one or the other and maybe that's the reason but I just thought he was poor tonight. I thought Hendrick, I thought again, I thought he's starting to look a bit like his old self and he actually looked confident and he was calling for the ball, dropping deep, getting on the ball. Um, but then yeah, towards the end as I say, uh, Doherty uh, really drove the team on in my opinion and he was the one that looking lively, every time he got on the ball he was willing to take on their full backs, take on their wingers and yeah ultimately it paid off in the end, Steve made substitutions around the 66th minute mark I think with Callum Robinson and stuff like that and then obviously Doherty, Callum Robinson were the ones who linked up for the goal and as I said we rode our look and, and look sometimes you need that bit of look and I think Stephen Kenny needed that bit of look to get that goal it went in on Shane Duffy's arse from, from what I saw anyway but look we'll take it and at that point then we were driving on and we looked like we were going to be the, t uh, the team to win it now we did look a bit nervy at times as well but I think it's an encouraging point but the performance level of the Portugal game obviously wasn't replicated over the two games so I think that was a little bit disappointing but I think they put a lot into that so you can kind of understand why their levels maybe weren't as much and we didn't have Seamus Coleman tonight who was obviously our leader at the back there as well so I thought we had a, a, a quite a good game considering obviously I think Bazuna is going to be a star for the future but 1-1 one, one, um, I think we got out of jail but look it's, it's a it's a point I think it's a bit of breathing space for Stephen Kenny I think it's a bit of breathing space for the team and maybe we'll get some positivity but we do have to remember and I'm always saying this to people is a lot of our players are playing in the championship or league one 
they're not playing high level Premier League and the majority of the players that are playing Premier League aren't playing for their clubs anymore unfortunately so we just have to appreciate that this is a rebuilding process and that you know we don't have the quality of old so we can't be comparing sides of old to, to this side now this is a totally different team and you know with time I think this team will be a good side but the signs are there that we're starting to get a good passage of play patterns of play are coming off but ultimately nobody will believe in these results until we start putting the ball in the net but look as I say it was a point that we created out like we would have done in olden days so you know I often remember Dan Randolph being the one getting peppered with, with shots and having to make the saves and uh, Shane Duffy coming to the rescue so it was a bit like old tonight but look it was a good Serbia side to get a point, point against them uh, was in my opinion a positive I think they're right up there with Portugal in terms of the quality so and I think they'll you know I think they'll qualify as well so look that's been my match reaction let us know your thoughts in the comments did you think we've done well do you think Kenny deserves more time all the usual stuff let us know your thoughts don't forget to check out the other um, match after match content uh, Jerry and Paul did the player ratings and Gary I'm sure has his three talk points and his instant match reaction as well thanks for watching I'll speak to you soon